Thank you so much for joining me today for Inside Mortgages this week for Monday, October the 22nd, 2012. We are right now in my new digs at Mortgage Forces Ottawa, which is now located at 1376 uh, Bank Street at the corner of Bank in Ohio. Uh, this is a new exciting company where I can uh, do a lot more work with our D&D and our our soldiers abroad so it's a it's a great opportunity for me and I can give the same uh, great rates so right now we're looking at rates as low as 2.98 for five years with full prepayment capabilities which is excellent that a lot of people are going with that a lot of my new first-time home buyers and we're also looking at the 10-year 3.89 is still an excellent excellent deal that a lot of people are going with uh, so this was a great past weekend. We had the NFL experience downtown Oktoberfest in the market. Uh, the Orleans Business Chamber had their event where we got to meet about 40 different booths with local businesses businesses in Orleans. I hope every other community in this city does an event like that. It was just spectacular. The mayor was there. Uh, so just taking a look at some statistics and some news for in Ottawa. In the Ottawa Business Journal, it was reported in September that the housing permits was down 28% year on year in September. So that is a large amount. Uh, it didn't. A lot more condos are not. Uh, the permits for the condos were not coming in, but uh, we did. We are seeing some condo sales with the two new ones with the Bennett team that are coming out, and uh, Soba had their opening as well on Saturday. Uh, we also saw last week the Hintonburg Community Association drop their appeal for 1050 Somerset Street West, which will be coming in around the Breeze Hill area. Uh, so with and it's made with Claridge. So they uh, they stopped the appeal mainly because there is a lot of concessions that were made by Claridge that will benefit the community in and around that area. And you're going to see that with a lot of condos coming uh, that are dealing with. Uh, zoning restrictions, you're going to see a lot more uh, consolidations for the, the community. Uh, in the National Post on Saturday, there was the article from Gary Marr again, talking about the he's foreseeing their, the housing prices going down. He's speaking with Benjamin Tal, the econ lead economist for CIBC. Uh, but in, in essence, I don't believe in the timing of the, the housing market, especially in Ottawa. Uh, housing in Ottawa has always considerably uh, increased steadily throughout the years, even if there is a, still a 10% cr uh, correction, which I do not see in Ottawa, the housing prices have gone up about 28% in the past uh, four years. So an, it is an excellent market that we have in Ottawa. And just like stock timing, it's really hard. You have to always keep in mind that buying a house is not only an investment for you, it's also the place where you live. It's a place where you raise your family. It's, it's the place where you're excited to go home to every single day. So you don't just view it as, a, uh, as an investment. That's a problem that the media kind of puts out there a lot. Uh, earlier last week, we saw a revised household debt limit uh, for quarter two of 2012 pushed up to 164%. So that is a rather large number, and it does get a lot of uh, uh, time in the press front cover on in the financial pages. Uh, because it is a large number and it's probably one of the highest numbers that we've ever seen in Canada. But that just shows that we do have about a year and a half of full income to pay off our debts. Not a lot of people do put their full income towards paying off debts. But it, we do have such great underwriting practices in Canada and your mortgage professionals and your loan professionals at the banks and institutions do follow strict guidelines to make sure that uh, we do not have problems like we, they were there were in the United States where they didn't really look at the income. They, they had a lot of gaps in their policies to push forth these mortgages. Uh, another major news is uh, MPAC's property assessments are starting to roll in in Ottawa for the 2013 year. Uh, they haven't been done in about four years since 2008. So like I said earlier, housing prices have gone up about 28% in the past four years. So, and even in uh, places such as Westboro, where some people are seeing raise, uh, raises of 70% in the four years, a lot of people are getting worried about their property tax when those come in. You're gonna see large increases 
And that will, could be troublesome for people if they're on uh, just social or assistance from the federal government, if they're in their 70s and, and they see these large increases, that makes a huge change to your budget. But I do put, a, I have put a link below as to how you can uh, get a reappraisal if you do not believe that your house is worth the large amount that MPAC has set it as. There are ways to get a reassessment up to 60 days after you receive your your, assess, your initial assessment. So please look at that. So uh, get in contact with me if you have any other questions in the mortgage industry. I'd love to talk to you about any of them. Uh, so have a great day and great week, and I hope to join you next week. Thank you so much. Have a great day.